Good. Come on. Good afternoon. My name is Scott Severson. I'm the proud individual that not only owns one of these beds, but is with a company that probably makes this bed for uh, Chelsea and Scott one step ahead. It's a wonderful bed. What makes the bed even better is when we can put a protective cover on the underside, giving the bed a barrier to moisture, sticks, seashells in the sand if it's used on the seaside, um, and also longevity. You know, having a treated nylon barrier between the bottom of the bed and any surface that it's on is going to resist punctures and tears. So after you've inflated your bed and you want to put on your uh, protective cover, it's really simple. First, let some air out of your, uh, your bed by just pushing in the valve. You'll feel the air come out. 10-20% of the, of the total amount in there is all you need, just so you can bend it. And then once you've done that, this is what yours is going to look like. You know, after you've used it once, it's going to be out of the bag. Each corner looks the same, but one corner will have the hole in it. And this is the corner that should go in the corner where your toddler airbed valve is located. And obviously for me, it's right here. And here is, got it? Okay, so with that said, now what I normally do is keeping that corner with the hole in it up in your upper right, Go like this, and then start with one corner, right here, and just get one corner started, like that, like that, okay, and then grab another corner, like this. You can also do this standing up, but for filming purposes, it's easier to do this. Remember, we let some air out of that corner? This is why. You can bend it up like that. And that's it. Don't worry about a perfect fit where the valve is. In this example, you can't see the valve. That's okay. I'll explain that in a minute. So what we're going to do is when it's time to air it up again, in a moment, I'm just going to pull this back like this and, and shoot air into it. Some of these are designed differently. On some beds, the valve's in a different place, maybe by two inches. The main thing is that we have a good snug fit. In fact, that's a good fit now, and the bed's not even fully inflated. So then, with your inflator, with the largest applicator, pull this back a little bit like this, access your valve, turn on your pump, you're just going to top it off, just like you've done before. You, just grab your, you can grab your rail and feel for it to throw this. The cover wants to flip up right away. Before you let it do that, make sure you put your valve cap firmly in place. Then we always want you to make sure that the other valve, if you've got one of the models that has a stem valve in the inner portion of the bed, make sure that's closed. Some don't have it, some do. Valves are closed. We're going to look at our bed. You can adjust this a little bit if you'd like, but that's a good fit. And then you can see on the bottom, Perfectly cut, perfectly designed, perfect fit, you're ready to go. Okay, time to, time to pack up and leave, no problem. Just, like we did before, let some air out, right? Just shove your finger in there, you'll hear it come out. That's enough. And then, just pull it off like this. It's okay to leave it on there for as long as you want. In fact, at summer residences, uh, people will put the protective cover on, air up the bed, and when their guests leave, put it in the closet, leave it to fully assembled, that's okay too. If you get a little bit of stains or something on here, warm soap and water, just hit it with that, let it air dry, and you're fine. Hope this helps. We appreciate your business, we appreciate that you've given your kids and your family a safe, nice rest, and that you've protected your investment for years of use. Thanks.